Shabir, do you completely disagree that the Bible is the word of God to be preached or do you partially disagree? I would say that what the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us to say. He said, uh, do not uh, uh, disbelieve what the people of the book say, nor um, agree to what they say. Actually, to quote him more exactly, he said, And uh, to, then to the, the ayah. Uh, do not uh, confirm what the people of the book say, nor disagree with what they say, but say we believe in Allah and what he has revealed. Whether that revelation came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, or to previous prophets. But that does not mean that our knowledge cannot go beyond that. In fact, um, a lot of things can be subjected to scholarly investigation and study. As a student of comparative religion, uh, I would say that uh, the New Testament in, in particular, and the Bible in general, uh, contain some messages from the previous prophets, including Jesus. Uh, but uh, these messages are mixed up with the commentaries and writings of other persons and redactors and, uh, and editors that came later on in such a manner that today we cannot uh, simply just take anything at face value that Moses wrote this or Jesus said this. Uh, but uh, we must study them carefully to see what Moses could have said and what he couldn't have said or what Jesus could have said and couldn't have said. Of course, that gives rise to a number of uncertainties that cannot uh, fully be, be solved, but the problem there is that the words of the prophets are so bound up with the words of later writers that they cannot simply be extricated uh, with any degree of uh, accuracy or certainty. To find the words and teachings of the previous prophets and uh, last of all of Jesus and then of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, we need to turn to the Quran, which is God's final protected revelation, which uh, will never be changed.